Some believe there is a special kind of magic that radiates from the smile of a child. A delightful and ineffable type of energy that makes the impossible possible, and dreams more than just dreams. For a sliver of time, this magic makes the world a truly wondrous place of possibility, filled with love, friendship, and sometimes even miracles. Sadly, as one grows older, this enchanting power begins to fade. Bells that rang as sweet and delightfully as the first true snow of the holidays grow silent, and the belief that sustained that sound and all childhood magic dwindles with it. Yet once a year, if the belief of children across the world is strong enough and their smiles bright like the stars, the bells can chime again, and miracles are once more possible. For atop the world, Hidden beneath the snows of a perpetual winter, there rests a wonderland. A sanctuary that on Christmas Eve spreads its joy and cheer to all the children, and perhaps even a few adults, across the greatest ornament of the heavens themselves, the planet Earth. Such a feat is only possible at Santa's workshop. Santa's workshop is a totalitarian cryptocracy in which supreme authority is concentrated in a single individual granted the honorific of Santa Claus. The decisions, actions, and legitimacy of this Santa Claus are subject neither to external legal constraints nor regularized mechanisms of popular control. In this unique form of despotism, the transfer of power is instead conducted entirely through state-sanctioned assassinations. When a Santa Claus grows complacent, begins to show weakness, and is eventually killed, his power, property, and authority are transferred to the man who killed him and put on his clothes. This, in theory, ensures that Santa's workshop is only governed by those strong enough to seize control through either the threat or use of force, social manipulation, or deceptive cunning. Ironically, while able to exert limitless rule over every aspect of the state's economic, social, military, and foreign policies, a Santa Claus is incapable of exercising any type of reform. Once in power, every Santa Claus is systematically altered, both physically and mentally through some apparently supernatural means. Every aspect of their lives becomes conditioned, from their preferred food and drink to their overarching goals and purpose. This purpose is always the same. Directly beneath the Santa Claus, there exists a population of second-class citizens known as Elves. They maintain a largely separate but still subservient power structure reminiscent of the kind largely used by organized crime. A single lieutenant known as the Head Elf maintains authority through casual intimidation, bullying, and an obsession with loyalty. Given that elves do not appear to age, live for centuries, and are perhaps even immortal, there is no method for which they might advance their status or escape their duties within the workshop. The central domineering ideology of Santa's workshop is one of charity and gift-giving. This is achieved through all means available to Santa's workshop, which mobilizes the entirety of its resources and society in the pursuit of this single goal. The workshop's economic system, seemingly modeled on the armament industries of the two world wars, reaches its zenith every Christmas, when the fruits of their labor, presents, are delivered by Santa Claus to every child on Earth. The next day, the process begins all over. The true purpose of this endeavor is to keep the workforce operating Santa's workshop in a state of perpetual servitude. Neither modern automation, mechanization, or even the basic standards of mass production are utilized. Instead, the workshop is technologically stagnant. This ensures elves will spend the eternity of their lives working, without time for leisure or personal goals. Like most despotic regimes, Santa's workshop continually monitors both its own population and that of the rest of the world. Through a network of informants, the state maintains one of the most effective intelligence agencies in history, supposedly able to determine if every single person on the planet is naughty or nice. Such information is used to great effect on Christmas Eve. 
To deliver presents across the planet, Santa's workshop makes use of a flying sleigh pulled by eight reindeer. This sleigh is capable of a vertical takeoff and landing, as well as reaching supersonic speeds. It is the primary element of the workshop's aerospace forces. Other major branches include the Effective Liberating Flight Squad, a special forces unit responsible for assisting Santa Claus should he be captured or incapacitated during his duties. Among their sophisticated arsenal of weaponry is a unique form of tinsel, capable of cutting through solid steel. It is said the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. The same might be said of Santa Claus. When millions of gifts appear under Christmas trees every year, only the children suspect who might have placed them there. But even they cannot grasp the terrible suffering and horrors that went into making them. The Templin Institute investigates alternate worlds and realities. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to directly support us, vote in polls to determine future topics, and receive some cool rewards, please consider pledging to our Patreon page.